This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. It's senior night in South Deerfield as the Frontier Red Hawks take on the Athol Red Raiders. Athol comes in with a record of 7-10, 3-2 in the league. Frontier comes in with a record of 13-3 and 6-0 and in the league. It is senior night. Let's go down to the floor and Coach Ben Barshevsky.
Douglas in the fall. At this point, he is undecided as to which college or university he will attend. Tonight, he is joined by his parents, Nicole and Steve, and sisters, Courtney and Ashley. Senior night is in the books for the class of 2020, and uh, we are a couple of minutes away from the start of this one. The Frontier Red Hawks and the Athol Red Raiders. Athol comes in fighting literally for their tournament live, Zach Lino. You know, they are 7 and 10. They need three more wins to get the magic number 10 to get into the tournament. Now, I was at their last game when they played Greenfield. I did a radio broadcast for Bear Country, and I got to tell you, that was probably one of the more intense regular season games I have ever seen. Athol came in, first half couldn't do much shooting wise, but they did ride the legs of Bryce King. And let me tell you something, this kid, when they say speed kills, I mean, this guy's a burner. And when he takes the ball and runs the point, he's very, very tough to contain. In the second half though, Athol really came alive in the fourth quarter through the efforts of one Mark Ferrari, wound it up the game's high score and will not be in the attendance or in, in the lineup tonight because he is suspended. He actually got thrown out of that, the last part of that game in an altercation with Mason Meadows. Both he and Meadows got tossed. So this is going to be interesting. If Athol comes in and plays the way they played against Greenfield in that fourth quarter, this is going to be a tough night for the Red Hawks. Yeah, I mean, their last matchup Frontier came away the victors. They uh, finished that one with 72-56. to 56. So it'll be interesting to see how they match up here tonight. And again, we, we actually got warned by Donovan Hoffman about Athol a while back. Donovan came to us and said, uh, you know, don't sleep on Athol. They are a much better team than their record indicates. And I think that, you know, tonight they're going to have to play their kind of basketball. The good news for Frontier is they've got a lot of depth. And there's not a lot of depth on the Athol bench, especially with Mark Ferrari not there in the pivot. Yeah, I mean, Frontier is going to have to be a semi favorite here tonight as they come in with a height advantage, and they have that insane bench depth that they come in with that they utilize very well. 
They also have some amazing uh, players that can play both ways very well. Sean Richter comes to mind, a great offensive and defensive player. And he's playing his, uh, well, not his final home game here, I don't believe, but he's playing his final few home games in Goodno Gymnasium. And Sean Richter, as I said, one of the best six men off the bench in this league. Also, without Peter Carey tonight, of course, still nursing that partial calf tear, and he won't be in the lineup. Well, hopefully they'll be in the lineup before the end of the regular season, shooting up for the playoffs. But Frontier is tournament bound. There's no question about that with a 13-3 record. 6-0 in the league, and they can keep that undefeated league streak going with a win tonight. But it's not going to be easy if the team that Athlo showed up Thursday night shows up tonight here in Goodnow Gymnasium against the Frontier Red Hawks. Now let's go down to the PA announcer for the starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guest this evening are the Red Raiders from Athol High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For Athol at guard, number three, Bryce King. At guard, number 10, Riley Payne. At center, number five, Nathan Heath. At forward, number 11, Vincent Gordon. At forward, number two, Noah Pottinger. Now for Frontier at guard, number 10, Ian Spirit. Right, here we go. Basketball is to start shortly here. So it's Hoffman, Spirance, Robinson, Boudreau, and Walkowitz. The five on the floor for the Hawks, and Bryce King, Nathan Heath, Riley Payne, Vinnie Gordon, and Noah Pottinger. And Pottinger was really sticking some three balls against Greenfield. A lot of outside shooting in that fourth quarter which is why they win by 16. And again, every win counts for Athol. Yep. For Frontier, not so much, but Hawks are not gonna wanna, li not gonna wanna lose on senior night, no. for sure. Not on their home court like this. And it will be a taller order without Mark Ferrari in the lineup for Athol. He's one of their key players. And you've got the Skywalker. Yeah. And Colin Boudreau, the big man in the middle for the Hawks, along with Donovan Hoffman. Boudreaux is giving jump center with Pottinger to start this one off. We play eight minute quarters in high school basketball and we are ready to rock from Good No Gymnasium on senior night on Frontier Community Access Television. This has the potential to be a very good game. And the tip is controlled by Frontier. Hoffman now into the backcourt. To Ian Spirance, a sophomore, getting the start at point guard tonight. Left side to D. Hoff, back to Spirance. Right side to Robinson. Robinson in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman to Boudreau. Boudreau looking for Walkowitz. Walkowitz pull up in the lane and he hits. You just mentioned him. There he goes. The Skywalker two, half all nothing. Bryce King, look out. This is it, right wing. Three ball from the corner. Side of the iron, no good. Deep rebound comes out and controlled by Frontier. Hoffman now. Into the front court. Dehoff. Nice move. Dipsy do drive. Scoop shot no good. Gets the rebound. Back out. Boudreau on the baseline now with it. Inside the walk. Which loses the handle. And King with the steal. And he double dribbled. Well, he carried it. A little too fast for the dribble there. Well, like I said, 
this kid, when he decides to run with the ball, <laughs> he leaves a vapor trail. Yeah. And Ian Sperance is going to have to very, very closely check him. Sperance now with it. Top of the key to Walkowitz. Right side to Hoff. Hoffman in the middle. Robinson off the glass and in. Frontier starting good here early. 4 nil. Now a little three-quarter court pressure. Hang now. Crosses half court. Over to Pottinger. Noah goes in the corner. Shot blocked on the way up. Battle for the ball. Possession arrow favors Athol with only 16 seconds on the shot clock. I don't think Frontier's going to try to let this one get away here early. King now with it. Looking to throw it in. And whacked out of the sky by the Skywalker. He earned that title on that one. Yeah, he's been playing both sides very well here. Two points and a block. And King will have to throw it in again. He does. Back in the corner is Bryce. Bryce draws double coverage. Over to Payne, to King. King rifles through, shot, no good. Put back is good and by Nathan Heath. 4-2. Sperance jogs it over left side. Back to Sperance, top of the key. Right side to Hoffman. Dehoff, cross court to Robinson. B-Rob for three. No good. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Here come the Raiders. Bryce King speeds through and draws a foul on Robinson. That's what he does. That kid penetrates and draws foul. That's his yeah. job. And it's going to be actually on Spirits, his first team's first. King to throw it in. Lobs it way out to Vinny Gordon. Right side to King. King now walks across court. Over to Payne. Back to King on high post. Right side. In the middle it goes to Pottinger. Kicked it back out to Gordon. Vinny Gordon tries to drive through, draws a foul. And earns two shots. Yeah, Athol really pushing it down low. Drawing those fouls. That's what they did in the first quarter against Greenfield, and it worked. That's two quick ones on Sperance. So they're going to have to get in Ethan Mashan into this game. First shot is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television by attorney Dan Graves and by Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Vinnie Gordon with the second shot, which will give Athol a tie if he makes it. And he does. 4-4. Four, four. And now Ethan Michon running the point for the Hawks. Frontier has Greenfield later this week in Greenfield, a rematch of that great game from earlier this year. Woodrow in the corner to Michon. Michon spins away and he travels. Yeah, took the extra step. And again, good defense by Bryce King. Didn't give him anywhere to go. That'll be an interesting matchup. Michonne and King, both guys yeah. get speed. And both guys control the ball very, very well. Now a little three-quarter court press by Frontier. Broken by Athol, up ahead. Pottinger now with it. Pottinger, back in the corner it goes. Three-pointer, no good. And Walkowitz the rebound. Outlet pass to Robinson. Robinson over to Michonne. Frontier just needs to slow it down here and get the look they want. Right side to Donovan Hoffman. Dehoff tried to feed Walkowitz, and now Walkowitz causes a foul as he knocked into Pottinger on the way up the floor. That'll be his first team's third. Yeah, they're trying to dish down low to Boudreaux, but the pass is just a little bit too high and got intercepted by Pottinger. Pottinger now and King in the backcourt being guarded by Michonne. B Rob comes up. And now King crosses the timeline. Nice King spinning away. Almost carried it again. Pottinger now spots up for three. It rims out, no good. But a rebound controlled and put back up and in. And there's the fighting Athol. By Riley Payne. And Athol has their first lead, 6 4. 435 to go first quarter. It should Mich be a little bit of a wake up call here for Frontier. Michonne down low to Boudreaux. Boudreaux. Brings through, reverse layup, count it and one for Colin Boudreau. As Nathan Heath just could not get him, could not get the, yeah. the, the baseline blocked. 
So Frontier and Athol will trade some blows here early. It's a new blood coming in here. We got uh, Gabe Gachinski coming into the game. Also checking in is Sean Richter and Gabe Jones Thompson. All seniors for Frontier, B Rob, Skywalker, and Hoffman are out for Frontier. Boudreau. And does not make the three point play. Rebound pulled down by Pottinger. Over to King. Tied at six. 4.20 to go. First quarter. King left side to Payne. Payne forces it down low for Heath. Back out to Payne. Payne drives left side, pushes it back. And a three pointer spun oh, out. Just rattled out. Just could not go for Bryce King. Rebound, Mashawn. Ethan. Right side to Richter. Richter to Gachinski. Gachinski over to Richter. Loses control, gets it back. Left side to Ethan. To Boudreau in the baseline. Boudreau muscles his way through, lays it up, no good. Taps it back out, but it's into the hands of Riley Payne. Outlet to Bryce King. King kicks Ooh, he it out. Can go quick. He is fast. King now on a low post. That <laughs> really is yeah. spot. <laughs> but a foul on Boudreau on a reach in. Yeah, I mean, that was this decision. That was a mismatch size wise. For sure, that's the first time Boudreau, fourth on the team. So Manny O'Leary will come in here for Athol. O'Leary's a big body, he'll push the people around down low. Pottinger for three, no. Rebound to Michonne. Michonne crosses the timeline. Left side to Richter. Richter bounces through. Back out to Mashon. Ethan spins away. Right side to Gachinski. Gabe for three. Over everything. Rebound to King. He likes those corner threes. You got to be careful. Here comes Bryce King. Spins behind his back. Quick dribble. Draws, draws all kinds of coverage. Payne now. Payne will take a three. He'll miss. I thought ice cold from the outside right now. Yeah, shooting it poorly. Richter with it. Richter looking for someone to pass to. Gets it back to high post. Boudreau. Boudreau loses the handle. Gets, gets it, it back. back. Oh, gets tough. hammered by O'Leary. <laughs> I told you he's a big body and he'll push yeah. people around. Dehoff's going to come back in and Boudreau will take a seat. After that hard fall. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 2.38 to go in period number one. It is Athol 6, Nora Frontier 6. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins and Zach Lino here, along with Kevin Murphy and Alec Eckel, Megan Self. Josh is up there running the controls on the camera. On senior night in South Deerfield, inbound pass. And Gabe Jones Thompson got commented on the way in. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And who did they get? It might be O'Leary. That's two for him. Two quick ones for the big man. And again, they do not have a deep bench. I see three yeah. guys dressed over there. First shot by Gabe Jones Thompson is no good. They'll get one more. You know, Frontier's got that hype in their favor on this one. So if they keep pushing it down low and drawing those fouls, this could really hurt Athol. I agree. Jones Thompson's second shot. And that one doesn't go. So we're still tied at six. King now with it. Bryce King. One of the faster point guards, though. He has not had the Jets on tonight. Right side to Vinny. Vinny Gordon back over to King. Top of the key. Bryce directing traffic. Runs right side. Bryce goes strung through. Lays it up. No good. Kind of a dipsy do scoop shot. Oh, he gets, gets his, it back. Gets the rebound back. And King goes up off the glass. No good. And rebound pulled down by Frontier. Donovan Hoffman now on the right side with it. Dehoff finds a, a scene. Contact, no call. And put back up and in by Jones Thompson. 8-6. Pottinger now. Over to King. Back to Pottinger. Noah. Oh, the pass goes uh -oh. through. Pottinger just going to be a backcourt violation. No, Gabe oh, no, gets it, puts it up, puts it off. Gabe Gachinski went back and took a shot, missed. Oh, rejected by Sean Richter. Great block by Richter on Vinnie Gordon. He was going up strong. That gets the sixth man up. Yeah. 
I think that one sent a message to Athol. And that's the other thing. The other night the fans were going nuts in Athol. They're really, in that gym, it's especially yeah. exciting, but here it can be exciting as well. King to throw it in. Throws into Pottinger. Pottinger, a little hook oh. shot. A little baby hook by Noah is good. We're tied 8-8. Eight to eight. Buck 30 to go in the first quarter. Michonne to Hoffman on the running on a cutter. No good. Jones Thompson gets it back to Richter. Richter, pull up jumper. No good. Rebound to King. They've got to watch it on the brakes. Athol can push it quick. Oh, Sean Richter with another rejection. Same guy, I believe. Now, this time he got uh, Riley Payne as Richter came to play yeah. on senior night. Richter's protecting that paint. King to throw it in. 24 seconds of the shot clock for Athol. And knocked out of bounds by Robinson. Athol will keep it. They'll inbound under the basket. Athol starting to feel that frontier pressure. King throws it in to Payne, to Gordon. Back to King. Left side for three. No good. Ball knocked loose to Michonne. Ethan. To Robinson, Robinson for three, yes! Oh, huge shot for Frontier, they'll take the lead. 11-8, Hawks, 47 seconds left to go in the quarter. Pottinger again, three-quarter court press by Frontier, broken. Bounce pass in the baseline, shot up no oh. good as O'Leary got fouled on the way up. Fans don't like that call. No. Perhaps got to look carefully here. Manny O'Leary. At the line to shoot two. First foul on Gabe Jones Thompson, team's fifth. O'Leary's first one is good. He'll get one more. I think he's going to be a key bench player here in this game with the down low play that Frontier's going to try to run. Jake Lamaris checks into the game for Athol. He replaces Riley Payne. O'Leary's second shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Richter. Up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman to Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson up to B Rob. B Rob wanted that shot and he missed it. Jones Thompson the rebound back to Michon. Michon. And possession arrow favors Frontier. Shot clock is off though with 20.2 seconds left. Michon will throw it in. There's 20 seconds left here in the first. Frontier running out of a stack. Gets it to B-Rob. Robinson to Hoffman. Hoffman, right side to Ethan, to uh, Richter. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman, a little skip Poked pass. Up there. And it went a little too far. Saved. Controlled by Athol. Pottinger up ahead. Five seconds left. Driving the back to the basket. And a lot of contact. Fouled on the way up was Vinnie Gordon. With 1.1 seconds left, Vinnie Gordon with two foul shots can tie this game. That's going to be on Hoffman, his first team sixth. So already Frontier has 16 fouls. Athol doing exactly what they want to do, get those fouls early. First shot is good by Gordon. That's his third point, third foul shot of this game. This is the second. Rebound comes down, and that will do it in the first quarter. We have played one quarter from Goodno Gymnasium at the end of one. It's at Frontier 11, Athol 10. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. 
visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second quarter action about to begin. A couple of subs in for Frontier. Haneski's into the game for the first time, and also back in is Colin Boudreau. So it's Boudreau, Jones Thompson, Richter, Robinson, and Haneski, the five on the floor for the Hawks. So far, Robinson has shot the only three pointer of this game on either side. Athol's taken at least five threes and missed yeah. them all. And they've not been able to stretch the floor as well as they've wanted to tonight. Pottinger throws it in to King. Back to Pottinger. Back to King. King at the circles. Again, directing traffic. Right side to Gordon. We feed the paint to Pottinger, and it's stolen away by Frontier. Good play by Jones Thompson. And Haneski now with it. Jake Haneski. Athol running a semi zone defense here. Robinson back to Haneski. Left side, Richter for three. Nope. Rebound comes down on a bounce. Still frontier ball with a fresh 30. Riley Payne checks back in. Pottinger will sit. Haneski to throw it in into the off ball basket. Lobs it out to Robinson. Robinson. Left side to Haneski. Neski to Boudreau, back to Neski on the elbow. Jake runs it, cross court, nearly has his pocket picked by King. Feeds Jones Thompson. Boudreau on the baseline, draws double coverage. Tries to feed the paint, nothing doing. And as soon as Frontier went low post, they tripled and double covered. Payne now with it. In the corner it goes. Driving through, kind of a crazy yeah. running shot by Payne is no good, he got fouled. He threw himself into there to the defenders. That's the seventh team foul, and it's going to be two shots. And that's two fouls on Gabe Jones Thompson. That's going to bring Walkowitz off the bench. Hoffman also getting ready to check in. First shot hits the front of the iron, no good. Walkowitz and Hoffman come in. Jones Thompson out, Robinson out. In front too, they have a really good deep bench, so they can, yeah. they can do these nice sub-ins. They can do full line changes if they need to. Yeah. Second shot by Riley Payne. He missed the first. And the second one is good. We're all tied up at 11. Lasky with it now. Jake. Jump step right side. In the corner to Hoffman on the baseline. Hoffman again tries the reverse layup. Doesn't go. Still after all balls, it went off of Walkowitz. Not sure why Donovan didn't just go straight to the basket with that one, but. Looks like Frontier will run maybe a three-quarter press. Gordon now in the backcourt with King. King, skip, skip pass all the way down in the corner to LaMarche. Back to Vinny. Gordon. Back over to King. Payne now with it. High post, eight seconds to shoot. Not a lot of time here. Riley Payne, left side. LaMarche for three. No. Out of bounds. Still half all balls. Went off Walkowitz's hands. Checking into the game is Mason Tarbell for his first minutes. And Althal is still shooting those deep balls. If they start to fall, look out, because that's what happened against Greenfield the other night. Inbound pass, stolen. Haneski up ahead to Richter. Richter couldn't contain the pass. And Walkowitz gets bumped from behind by Nathan Heath. And that's going to be a position foul as he's not in the act of shooting. Two yep. fouls now on Nathan Heath for Athol. And they're going to check Pottinger back in and get Heath out of there. Athol's going to be very careful here with their fouls. They don't have a deep bench. No. At Not all. many players at all the suburb. Vineski inbounds to Boudreau. Kick it around to Richter. Back over to Niehoff. Walkowitz, turnaround jumper in the blink. No good. Rebound controlled by Athol. A bucket here can take the lead back for the Red Raiders. King. 
to Payne. Right side to Pottinger. Back over to Payne. Payne on a high post Ooh. to King. Well, obviously a point guard playing a high yeah. post there. But King shut off, draws double coverage. Pottinger loses control going through and travels. So not the prettiest basketball being played right now by either team. We're stuck on 11-11. 5.32 to go in the second quarter. Both teams training blows here. And staying close. Hoffman now. Left side it goes to Walkowitz. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman right side to Haneski. Haneski down low to Boudreau. Boudreau to Richter. Blocked on the way up. Rebound control by Apple. Here comes King. Woo. Flies through, draws the he foul. Blocked in at Mach 90 on that one. Yep, that's what he does. And he will draw tons of fouls on people just by doing that. And that time, Haneski was about a half a step behind him. It's going to be two shots, and that's the first foul on Haneski. Anybody who plays the point for Frontier tonight is going to have a challenge yeah. containing that guy. I think their best matchup would be uh, Ethan Michonne. Probably. First shot by King is good. He'll get one more. 12-11, Athlon with the lead. Second shot does not go. Hoffman the rebound. Breaks it up floor. Hoffman to Richter. Richter back to Hoffman. Hoffman over to Haneski. Haneski travels. Oh, no. And I think you're going to get Mashon. No, you're going to actually get uh, Aiden I Hernandez think. in there. Oh. So Aiden off the bench replaces Haneski. And so Hernandez is out there. Uh, now Athol has a chance to really extend the lead out here. Pottinger now goes in the corner. Lamarche back to Pottinger. Pottinger tries to drive through bumps. Blocking foul is going to be called yeah. on Richter. Richter not happy with that call. This is going to be a one and one for Pottinger. Only one foul on Richter. first shot is good. Nice game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Athol getting a lot of their points early here off that free throw line. And that one doesn't go, so he makes one of two. 13-11, Athol by two, 4.45 to go in the quarter. Aiden Hernandez now running the point. Left side to Hoffman in the corner to Walkowitz. Walkowitz tries to feed the paint, mm. and again, nothing doing. That is just not working for them right now. No. Athol's been able to shut off that low post. LaMarche for three. Go! Woo! It is now a 16-11 lead. Five-point lead for Athol, their largest. Athol starting to pull away here from Frontier. Hoffman in the corner to Walkowitz. Walkowitz back to Hoffman. Hoffman, Good NBA shot. three, no good. And a foul under the basket by Aiden Hernandez. And they're going to bring it up the floor, and they're going to shoot one and one. So this is not looking good right now for Frontier. No. Robinson's getting ready to check back into the game. Frontier has not scored a point in this quarter. And we're almost halfway through. Athol's just done a simply terrific job on the defensive end and getting those fouls on the offensive end. Payne's first shot is good. You will get one more. It's now a six-point lead. Walkowitz out, Robinson in for Frontier. And gets them both. 18-11. Hernandez runs the ball up the floor. Richter, foul line jumper, no good. Richter gets the rebound. Back over to Robinson, back to Hernandez. Tight man-to-man -man right now for Athol. Yeah. Boudreau in the corner, jumper from the baseline is no good. Out of bounds, Athol ball. Frontier's getting decent looks, they just have not been able to get that. And Athol has gone from a matchup zone to a tight man to man, and that's what they did against Greenfield, and it worked very, very well for them. Pottinger now. Over to King. Back to Pottinger. To King. Left side to Payne. Hey now, hands it off to King. And a kick and a reset. So a fresh shot clock for Athol. 
They'll inbound underneath the Frontier basket. Frontier's got to be careful with their shooters because when they get hot, they can really pull away. King, out of a stack, throws it out to Payne. Payne fakes the shot. Left side of LaMarche. LaMarche with it, back to Payne. And they'll set the offense up again. Payne, left side to King. King being tightly guarded. I Robinson goes through, strong, blocked by Richter. And the ball went out of bounds. It's at Frontier Basketball. Again, Richter, three yeah. blocks inside. On that hustle play, Frontier not willing to give up here. 3.18 to go in the half. Seven point FO lead, 18 to 11. Hernandez and a high post to Richter to Hoffman. Hoffman for three. No. And a put back and in by Goodrow. That's that, what Frontier needs more of, utilizing that low post. And they're going to get Hernandez, I believe, on a hand check. We'll put King at the line. And they're going to bring Haneski back in. That's two fouls on Hernandez. I'm going to bring back Mashon, actually. So Bryce King, the speed burner, at the line for two shots. 3-0-1 to go in the quarter. First shot goes. Got the bounce. A lot of foul shots on this score sheet, as it was in the first half against Greenfield the other night. Second shot by King. That one's good. He'll Makes extend the lead to seven. 2013, half all with the lead. Frontier has put two points on the board in this quarter. Hoffman to Richter. In the corner it goes. B Rob for three. That spins out. Frontier's Rebound. just been having some really tough luck from deep. Up ahead to Payne. Payne spots up for three. Front of the iron, no good. Rebound, Pottinger goes up left, no good. Rick to the rebound, and he got fouled from behind by Tarbell. And this is going to be non-shooting. Back into the game is Vinnie Gordon, and stepping out is Jake LaMarche. And the foul disparity is huge. I mean, Frenchie's got 10 team fouls. Athol only half of that with five. Well, this is what they do. The half, Athol will run at you and trigger fouls. That's their game. They play it rough. LaShawn right side to Robinson in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman down low to Boudreau. Boudreau trying to work on the baseline, blocking foul on Pottinger. Danny Beavis can't believe it, the Athol coach. Yeah. He thought he had him blocked off Inside pretty good. himself. Again, non-shooting. One more, and we're into the one and one. Michonne to throw it in for the Hawks. Into Robinson, to Hoffman, top of the key. Right side to Michonne. Michonne in the corner to Hoffman. Apple Hoffman. shutting off that baseline once again. To Michonne. Michonne, Hoffman, Hoffman spots up for three. Front of the iron, no good. Robinson the, the rebound to Richter, Richter. Off the glass and in. Woo. Stop and pop for Richter. Gets it to go. And what do we have? Okay, they just... They just want everything to calm down. King. Skip pass ahead to Payne. Payne tries to go up strong and is blocked. I think Boudreau got a piece of that one. Mashon now with it. Mashon pull up jumper. Air ball. Rebound King and a hand check foul on Boudreau. He doesn't like it. But that's two on Colin, and King will shoot two on the other end. So well, this is putting a lot of Frontier players in trouble here. Well, this is what they do. This is what Ath this is Athol, the new Athol's game. They put you in situations where you're going to have to commit fouls. King's first shot is good. He has four points, all foul shots. If I might count, we have eight foul shots, nine foul shots in this quarter, so or this half, so almost half the points for Athol have come from the foul line. Frontier's only gotten four points. They've really struggled offensively. Second shot by King is good. Lead back up to seven for Athol. Mashon with it. This is just the way Athol wants it. They want a low scoring rock fight. Jones Thompson off the glass and in. And that was just a pretty pump fake to get his man off his feet. 22 to 17. Up ahead, Tarbell off to the races, lays it up. Off the glass, kind of a crazy looking shot, no yeah, good. Yeah, Richter ran in there and then he had to adjust his shot and it was way off. 
Maneski's going to come back in. Michonne will sit out. So three different point guards are rotating in. Fresh legs at all times for Frontier to deal with King. That's a very uh, nice benefit that they have where they can swap in these different point guards, even in foul trouble. Hoffman now with it. Minute eight to go. Hoffman right side to Haneski. Jake in the corner. Jones Thompson drives the baseline to Robinson. Back to Hoffman. 12 to shoot. Dehoff kicks it to B Rob. Robinson for three. Air ball. Rebound control by Frontier. By right, Athol, rather. Shooting has just not been there in this half. Now, Athol going to slow it down here, use up some of that clock. 21 on the shot clock, 30 in on the game clock. Pottinger to King. Left side to Payne. Riley Payne being guarded by Robinson. Left side to King. King pushes off Robinson, tries to drive through. Oh. Hits, he hit Jones Thompson in the yeah. mouth. No call. They're missing in Payne, but there's no call. Well, check out. They might be. Check his nose for blood. I mean, Bryce King really just threw himself into Game Strips Thompson and hit him in the face. Five seconds on the shot clock, 23 on the game clock. They're going to have to get Jones Thompson out of there. They're going to check that nose. Walkowitz in. Yeah, Jacob Marshall being for Athol, setting in for Mason Tarbell. Jake Sack had a, a bloody nose in the Greenfield game, too. So Athol's drawing blood in two consecutive games. But like you said, that's how they like to play it. King throws it in. And wave off that bucket. It's a trap. Yep. So 21.9 seconds left. Shot clock's going to be off. Frontier will be able to play for one last shot. They trail by five. Jake Kineski brings it up. 15 seconds left. Right side to Robinson in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman. Pulls away. Five seconds left. Hoffman. Deep three is going to be an air ball. And that is how the half will end. Some would say apropos given the shooting performance in that first half by Frontier. We have played two quarters of basketball on senior night. The FL Red Raiders with the Frontier Red Hawks 22 to 17. Second half action is next. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by. Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Zach Lino out here at Goodno Gymnasium on senior night at the end of one half. The FL Red Raiders lead the Frontier Red Hawks 22 to seven. FL's done a good job of shutting down Frontier in the paint, especially a lot of those interior passes, Zach, just were not happening for Frontier. No, every time they pushed it down low, Athol, they may not have the height, but they compensated by double or triple teaming, forcing Frontier to kick it outside. And, and, they had, yeah, and right. Athol did exactly what we thought they were going to do in that first half, and that was you know, they ran at Frontier, got people in foul trouble. Bryce King was the guy who did most of that damage. He has five points, all foul shots, five for Riley Payne, three each for Vinny Gordon and Jake LaMarche and Noah Pottinger and a single foul shot for Manny O'Leary, as well as two points for Nathan Heath. And Brett Robinson has five points for Frontier, four each for... Gabe Jones Thompson and Colin Boudreau and two each for Sean Richter, Owen Walker. It's a relatively anemic offensive first half for the Hawks. We'll see if they can turn it around moving left to right against the Red Raiders. And Frontier, once they get into their groove, they can really hurt you. Richter throws it into Haneski, into the backcourt, and here we go. Robinson, left side it goes. Jones Thompson drives the baseline, and a blocking foul is going to be called on Nathan Heath. 
non-shooting. Oneski will throw it into the basket. That's three on Heath. Again, like what I've been saying, the foul trouble for Athol is a lot more problematic than it is for Frontier. Richter now. Left side. Jones Thompson stays with it, lays it up and in. Tough play down low by Jones Thompson. 22-19. King now with it. King directing Pottinger. Now goes right side to Payne. Riley Payne now on the elbow. Payne pulls back to King in the middle. King. Left side it goes to Gordon. Gordon to Pottinger. Pottinger drives the baseline, lays it up and in. Nice shot there by Pottinger. All he needed was a seam, and he was off to the races. 24-19. Half out by five. Vineski in trouble. Up ahead to Richter. Ooh, Richter almost Whew. traveled. Robinson in the corner to Boudreau on the baseline. He passes in the center again. Nobody home. Halfall steals it. Kick back out Pottinger. Oh, Tried Robinson will get that one. Robinson stole it away. That was a lazy pass to King. Vineski now pulls up in the lane off the glass. Doesn't go. Vineski gets his own rebound and a fresh shot clock. Pulls it back out to Richter. Richter to Haneski. Haneski drives the baseline. Shut off. Haneski in trouble. Bounce pass down low off the glass and in by Gomes Thompson, who's been Mr. Post tonight. Yes. And I think Frontier found the down low play they were looking for. Frontier fans not happy. And they might, was there a foul called after that basket? King felt like he got smacked around. Yeah. Now King's going to go to the bench. I think there might be blood. It looks like both sides may have drawn blood here yeah. so far tonight. So King is out, and LaMarche is in. They're going to take a look at that scratch. A lot of contact down low. Pottinger now will bring it up. Over to Payne. Frontier arms up on D. Payne down low off the glass and in on the overplay to Heath, who was right there. Beautiful give and go play there by Athol. 26 21. Up ahead to Richter, to Robinson. Robinson stops. Back to Hineski. Over to Richter. Richter. Right side to Robinson. Robinson for three. Does not go. And rebound controlled. Battle for oh, Richter will end up with it. Richter can't wait with the rebound. Back out to Hineski with a fresh shot clock. Hineski pulls it back. Richter. Over to Hineski. Hineski. Blocked in all kinds of trouble. Yeah. Jones Thompson, right side of Robinson. Over to Boudreau. Boudreau tries to drive the baseline, lays it up. Oh, just off. Reverse layup, no good. Thompson, oh. count it in one. Gabe Jones Thompson has three consecutive. He's come alive here. Buckets in the baseline. He has been Mr. Post up. And he draws the foul on Vinny Gordon. And with this foul shot, he can cut the lead to two. Yeah, Frontier saying they can play just as rough down low. Jones Thompson does not get the free, the free throw. Touched every bit of the rim. Now Pottinger with it. Pottinger brings it up. Left side to Gordon. Gordon, skip pass cross court to Payne. Payne, skip pass cross court, out of bounds. Bad pass. And Athol starting to feel the frontier pressure. Now you do not want to let these guys back into this game. Haneski now with it. Three-quarter court press by Athol. Up ahead to Robinson. Robinson's travel. Oh, no. He was thinking Boudreaux, yeah. then thought Richter, and took the extra step. Timeout on the floor. If Athol calls it, we'll take the break. 5.08 to go in the third quarter. We've got ourselves a basketball game. It's Athol 26, Frontier 30, 23. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, Athol coach Dan Beavis did not like what he was seeing out there from his team, and I think he, a timely timeout as the Hawks now have cut the lead to three. Athol will have the basketball. Bryce King is back out there after getting bumped and drawing a little blood down low earlier. It's the inbound pass from Gordon. Now Gordon with it. To King in the corner. King, Haneski on him. Skip pass cross court. Living dangerously again with those skip passes. And they pounce pass inside of Potton, just stolen by, by uh, Boudreaux. Boudreaux on the baseline. 
Richter. Richter pounding inside for two. Again, all eight points in this quarter have come on the baseline. 26-25. Frontiers cut it to one. Three-pointer. Spins out, no good. Boudreau the rebound, outlet pass. Uh oh, Gabe Jones Thompson on the break. Offensive foul. Contact. Oh, it goes with the wave it off. Drawn very nicely by Bryce King, and King just got his feet planted. It's an offensive foul, and that is going to be three on Gabe Jones Thompson. And that's huge because he's been their lead Frontier's leading scorer here tonight. 26 25, Frontier, Athol by one. Here goes King. Off to the races, he pulls it back. Trying to go around Gabe, knows that's yep. four on Gabe. Now they gotta get him out of here, that was a blocking foul. And that's what King wanted, he wanted to draw the big man up top and then just get the contact. Well he got it, and that's four fouls on Gabe Jones Thompson. They don't have a sub in for him though. Nope, Pottinger gets away from Boudreau, Ooh. lays it up and in. Nasty pump fake. Well, he's definitely a good ball player. Lead back up to three for Athol, 28-25. Haneski being hassled by Pottinger. Hoffman now, skip pass cross court. Bounce pass down low. Boudreau again oh, goes for that blocked. reverse layup. And a foul on Boudreau. I, I don't know. when you thought Frontier's luck was turning. Walkowitz in for Gabe Jones Thompson who's out. Boudreau now has three fouls. Again trying to go for that fancy pants reverse layup. And Frontier's height is now kind of gone. Bryce King now with it for Athol. Again, Athol playing for their playoff lives. King now spins away from containment, double coverage. Now a deep three outside, no good. That was put up by Riley Payne, rebound controlled by Frontier. Haneski now. Bounce passes up ahead to Richter. Richter's logged a lot of minutes in this game. Bullet pass down low to Hoffman, he gets fouled yeah. on the way up. So Hoffman will go to the line as he was bump fouled, I believe, by King. Frontier, like you said, going to that baseline. Well, that's worked for him. Actually, the foul is going to be on Vinnie Gordon. That's his second, team's third. Hoffman now, first shot, spins out. And these are huge free throws yeah, in the game you this make Exactly, you got to make your throws. We always say it almost every game, but it's true. It's fundamentals. Hoffman, second one, that one goes. He makes one of two. That's his first point of the game. King now, crosses half court, triple covered. Oh, stolen, stolen by Hoffman, nice strip job. Frontier's got numbers. Oneski lays it up, no good. Boudreau goes up for the reverse layup. That time he hits it. There's the Fighting Hawks. And we're tied at 28. King now, again. Oh, but oh, he no. fouled. Did they get Boudreau or Haneski? One of the two got it. We'll see who they call. It's going to be on Boudreau, his fourth. Oh, that's crushing. So Boudreau has four. And Gabe Jones Thompson, both the Frontier's big men have four. That's huge. And they're going to have to make a switch up here in a second. King now. King being guarded by Haneski. Kicks it back to Gordon. Stolen by Haneski. Haneski now runs it right side. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Boudreau. Boudreau to Walkowitz. Walkowitz loses control. Richter on the baseline. Boudreau shut off. Stolen by King. Boudreau has to be careful not to get that fifth foul. Yeah. King drives through, lays it up. No good. Falls down. Boudreau the rebound. Outlet to Hoffman. Donovan drives through, lays it up, hits the ah, high. Part of the contact, iron. but no call. They wow. The ball. It is rock'em sock'em robots <laughs> out there. Lots of contact, no call. Boudreau is out with the four fouls. Yeah, the refs definitely let uh, it play a little more rough. Ben Barashevsky slams his clipboard to the bench. Wow. Possession arrow is going to favor Frontier, or Athol rather. And you want to talk about a game where every possession is a fight on both sides. This it is. is it. it is a quintessential rock fight in, in uh, South Deerfield tonight. King throws it right side. Again, tough D by Frontier. Pottinger gets a seam, lays it up, and good with the left he hand. He can ball. He can. And he came alive in the second half against Greenfield. He's doing it again tonight. 30-28, half followed by two. Haneski. Left side to Robinson. Back to Haneski. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Haneski. 
at the foul line to Robinson. Back to Jake, 13 on the shot clock. Richter for three. Oh, it spun oh, out. It was a huge shot, but it just rimmed out. Rebound controlled by Athol. Kick back to King. He's able to save it before it goes into the backcourt. Bryce King running left side, inside dish to O'Leary, loses control, out of bounds, Frontier Basketball. Minute 40 left in the third, two point game. Quick sub in, Spirits in, Hineski out. Once again, Boudreaux and Jake Jones Thompson on the bench. They have a combined 16 points and eight fouls. So Athol will not run a half court or full court press. Spirits now with it. To Walkowitz, top of the key, right side to Robinson. Robinson was thinking shot, but bobbled the pass. To Hoffman, Hoffman to Walkowitz in a high post. To Bra Robinson, Robinson for three, good! Oh, huge shot there by Britt Robinson. Timeout on the floor, Frontier has the lead back. 119 to go in the third, Red Hawks 31. Red Raiders 30. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Big three by Bet Robinson gives Frontier the lead back, 31-30, their first lead of this second half. Athol will inbound underneath their own basket. Pottinger to throw it in. Into King, Bryce King now. We'll take it out of the backcourt. Over to Pottinger again, three-quarter court press. King, skip pass right side to Gordon. Back to Pottinger, and back in the middle to Payne. Riley Payne drives through. Crazy shot off the glass, no good. Rebound for Spirance. Ian Spirance down low. Over to Hoffman, all alone. Hoffman for three, no! Walkowitz battles for the rebound, possession arrow. Favors Frontier as he went into with Pottinger. Oh, no, after. the Frontier fans are going ballistic That's off the crazy. no jump call. That's a bad call. That is a very bad call. That's a bad call. It was a clear tie up. But they're going to give a foul to Walker with his second. Athol gets the ball back. 48.3 seconds left. And these fouls are starting to suffocate Frontier. Pottinger now. Up ahead, steal by Walkowitz, anticipated it well. Bodies ball at the floor. the floor. And it's going to be possession arrow favoring Frontier. But that was Walkowitz that made that happen. Spirits and Payne go to the floor. Actually, no, they did not tie it up. They called a timeout. Wow. So Payne was able to get a timeout before the arrow changed. So we'll take a break. 31-30, Frontier with the lead. Timeout coming back in 20 seconds. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Good play by Riley Payne to be able to get that timeout before the possession arrow, which would have favored Frontier was called, so Athol will keep the ball. Again, 31-30, Frontier by one. 38 seconds left to go in the third quarter. This could be potentially an overtime game the way it's going. The largest lead has been seven points for either side. Pottinger to throw it in for Athol to the backcourt to King. 27 seconds on the shot clock, 35 on the game clock. Kinger now with it. Tricky dribbles, left side to Payne. Riley Payne now, trying to work on Spirits. Hands it off to King, working a weave. King for three, does not go. Rebound tipped Tight out. The board. Oh! Uh -oh. And a uh -oh. foul called on Donovan Hoffman, I think. Yeah, two he, people went for the ball, but. He pushed Mason Tarbell into his own bench. I think that was the call, yep. The Tarbell, the Pottinger inbound. That's two fouls on Hoffman. Pottinger to throw it in for Athol. Goes into Riley Payne. Takes the handoff. To, now it gives it to King. The King. Spirits is right on top of him. Ten seconds left. Athol playing for a final shot. King gets a screen. Three ball put up. No good. And wave off that basket. The quarter is over. The end of three quarters. Frontier 31, Athol 30. Fourth quarter action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by 
Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Eight minutes left to go in regulation. This may require more than 32 minutes of basketball to decide this one. It has been a nip and tuck affair all night on senior night here at Goodnow Gymnasium. Chris Collins and Zach Lino. Along with Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, Megan, Self, and our man Josh running the camera as the Hawks will inbound it. Spirance, Walkowitz, Richter, Robinson, and Hoffman are the five on the floor for Frontier. Spirance to Walkowitz in a high post. Left side to Hoffman in the corner to Robinson. Inside. Turnaround jumper by Richter, and he got fouled on the way up. Whew. So he'll go to the line. Right now, Robinson and Hoffman are very, very closely guarded. That's four yeah. fouls on Manny O'Leary. He committed a foul at the very end of that quarter, the last quarter. So he's in deep foul trouble. It's very interesting to see what Frontier's doing with their uh, smaller lamps that they're kind of forced to use here after uh, Gabe Jones Thompson got four fouls and uh, Tom Boudreau. Richter makes the first. Second shot upcoming. So he's got five so far. Yes, yeah, so there are four players, three players in this game with four fouls. Two for Frontier, one for Athol. Richter makes them both. 33-30, Frontier by three. Three-quarter court press again. King crosses half court. Left side. Nice pump fake. And driving through. That was Mason Tarbell. He got fouled. Who do they get? This will be huge. It's a one and one. It's a 17 foul. That's three fouls on Spirits. Will not be surprised if they subbed in a different point guard here. Well, Spirits is talking to the ref, asking exactly what the foul was. Yeah. Mason Tarbell. Again, foul shots crucial in a game this tight. First one of the one and one is no good. Rebound controlled yep. by Robinson. And a they foul on Pottinger. Pottinger. Yeah. How many is that? That's only two on Pottinger. Six team foul, one more, and we're shooting one and one for Frontier. Spirance now with it. Spirance now gets the play. Right side to Robinson. Robinson, Walkowitz. Baseline to Richter. Richter back to Hoffman. Hoffman goes strong. Foul oh. on the way through. And Hoffman's going to get a couple of foul shots. Nice hard drive there for Donovan Hoffman. Well, Frontier kind of throwing Athol's game back at him, charging at the yeah. basket. And that's three on Pottinger. So that bear's watching as well. Donovan Hoffman. First shot is good. You will get one more. This could make it a five-point lead for Frontier. This would be huge. And he gets the roll. 35-30, Frontier by five. 7.20 to go in the game. King now brings it up for Athol. King over to Pottinger. And right by Robinson, back to King. King spots up for three. No. Rebound comes out to Spirits. And I think it's important to remember that a five-point lead is almost nothing in this game. That's correct. Spirits drives left side. Back to Walkowitz on a high post. Walkowitz to Richter. Back to Spirits. Spirits will take a three. It hits the side of the backboard. Hoffman, though, gets the rebound. Puts it in. Also play there by Hoffman for two. Timeout, Athol will take the break. 6.45 to go in the game. Frontier 
Threatening to blow it open. Red Hawks 37, Red Raiders 30. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So we've said it before on a number of occasions that Frontier's defense spurs their offense. That seems to be the case tonight as Frontier is really beat up and has made it tough for Athol. They've only scored eight points in the second half. And they've scored nothing. Actually, they've scored, yeah, they've scored nothing in this quarter. King now gets the inbound pass from Pottinger. Pottinger now. Steal by Spirits. Oh, they're going to call oh, him for a no. foul. Oh, oh wow. No. One and one. Ben Barshevsky can't believe it. Neither can Spirits. That's four fouls now on Ian. That looked like a clean steal to me. Yeah, I'm in shock. So Pottinger will go to the line for a couple of big free throws here. And that's the third frontier player, though, now have four fouls. That's right. Pottinger's first shot is good. It's a one and one, so he has one more to go. Only to bring Hineski in to get Spirance out of there with the four fouls. And you only wonder if Frontier didn't have this amazing bench depth, what would have happened when they've gone in this foul trouble. Second shot by Pottinger is no good. Richter the rebound out to Hineski. Frontier by six. Hineski with it to Hoffman. Hoffman in the corner. Richter off to the races. Foul on the way up. And that's going to be four on Pottinger. And when a game comes down to the wire like this. Well, I'll tell you, they could ill afford to lose Pottinger, Noah Pottinger in yeah. this game. He's been massive here for them tonight. Richter's first shot is good. He's Another got shot seven so far. Up seven. Actually, that, this, that's seven. Now, this could be an eight point lead. This will be their largest of the game. If you can make this. Does not go. Rebound. Controlled by Athol. Heath. Cross court. Let's see if King. King drives. King pulls back. And bounce pass right side. In the corner. Pottinger takes it back out. Three point bomb put up no good. Pottinger tips it loose into the hands of Hoffman. One and out for Athol. Yeah, Frontier's forcing these deep shots from Athol, and Athol just have not been able to hit them. Hineski gets a lane, lays it up. Oh, no, no but Walkowitz put back is no good. Oh, Hineski, I think, is surprised to have that much daylight. Yeah. He had a clean line to the basket, just could not make the bunny. And that would have been a huge nine-point lead for Frontier. Frontier keeps the ball, though, with a fresh shot clock. Hineski into Walkowitz, left side. Robinson, Robinson for three. Go! Oh, money! Three threes in this game for Brett Robinson. It's a 10-point Frontier lead. Gordon, left side to King for three. They Not can't there. Respond. Saves it. Saved Richter's by hands. Frontier. So the Hawks looking to make some space here. Up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman to Walkowitz. Walkowitz blocking, blocking foul, foul on Vinnie Gordon. Frontier starting to slip away from Athol here. As they now hold a double digit lead. That's three fouls on Vinny Gordon and two shots, actually one and one, excuse me, for Owen Walkowitz. The Skywalker. First shot does not go. He'll get, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Rebound <laughs> controlled by Athol. King now with it. King. King drives through, goes strong, lays it up, draws Ooh. the foul. Who'd they get, though, is the question. Yeah, and he can go quick. Owen says it was him. That'd be and huge. He's right. That's three on yeah. Owen. And Bryce King. It's the kind of guy that drives you nuts if you're playing against him. The kind of player you'd love to have on your side. King's first shot hits the front of the iron. No good. He'll get one more. All of Bryce King's five points have come from the foul line tonight. And second shot goes. That's huge. Makes one of two. 
Hoffman now with the inbound pass. Runs it up left side. Paul Hoffman that full court surrounded press. by Red. And now hands it back to Sineski as everybody backs off. Five minutes left in the fourth. Sineski with it. Top of the key. Left side. Three-pointer for Robinson way off on that one. You could just see the line wasn't there. Yeah. Out of bounds. And it's AFL basketball. And Frontier rushed the possession there a little bit when they didn't really need to. Yeah, I'd like to see him work around a little bit, work a little bit of this clock off. King, lob Both pass. Press stolen, stolen by Hoffman. Hoffman. There you go. Bad idea that time. Haneski with it now. Crosses half court. Haneski to Robinson. Robinson in the corner to Hoffman. Hoffman to Walkwitz. Walk Walkwitz goes up strong. Shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Athol's chance is fleeting here. King spins away. Bounces off of Hoffman. King still with it. Outside. Uh -oh, three pointer. Fake. Good. Big shot. Good. There you go. Riley Payne. That's a big three. That cuts the lead to six. Four to minutes 12. left. There's plenty of time for it to go either way. Aneski now with it. To Robinson. Right side to Richter. Richter drives through. Richter turnaround jumper. And it's going to be a blocking foul. If that's on Pottinger, he's done. Uh-oh. Tenth team foul. Nope, it's only it's going to be on Riley Payne, his first. So that is a break that for Athol. That would have been massive for Athol if they lost Pottinger there. Richter at the line. First shot is good. Richter's done well from the foul line. Boudreau is back in. Walkowitz will sit. So Boudreau out there with the four fouls. Second shot. Good. Makes them both. And that is the epitome of clutch right there. There's a call so. on the floor. All right. So Athol inbound. They trail by eight. Halfway through this fourth quarter. King. Frontier running close man to man. Lost Loses control. it. Bounce pass ahead to Robinson. Lays it up and in. Oh, thank you, man, says Robinson. Long lead pass up ahead. Lays it up and Pascal. in. That Pascal was tip for tat. Riley Payne. Ten point Frontier lead. Actually, eight point Frontier lead. 45 37. Haneski crosses half court. Two and a half minutes left. Athol's got to make a run here quick. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman runs to the elbow. Down to Boudreaux. Boudreaux. And wave they off run. that basket. Foul is going to be on the floor. And I'm pretty sure it's on Heath. So he'd be done. That's four. Oh, no. Heath. Yeah, I didn't think he had four. I, think he had, I thought he had three. Yeah. So Boudreaux will go to the line. And this is two shots for Colin Boudreaux. First shot, front of the iron, no good. He'll get one more. Still an eight-point game, so I thought still got a chance here. This is a both. Rebound controlled by Athol. Pottinger hands it off. King. Bryce King, right side. Bryce King, down low. Turn around jumper, hard off the glass, no good. Rebound controlled by Hoffman. Frontier's probably going to eat up that clock here. Left side of Robinson, back to Hoffman. Hoffman, he'll take an NBA three. He got it! Oh, big shot! Hoffman from way downtown. Timeout on the floor. It's starting to get away. 11 point lead for Frontier, their largest. Frontier 48, Athol 37. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So a big three by Donovan Hoffman, his first of the game. And that gives Frontier an 11 point lead with about three minutes to go in this one. So unless Athol can make a charge here, Frontier will get their 14th win of the season. It's Haneski, Hoffman, Richter, Robinson, and Boudreau, the five on the floor for Apple. Pottinger lobs it ahead. Back to Pottinger. Pottinger, he'll take a three. Front of the iron, no good. They've been ice cold from out there tonight. Yeah. 
Maskey now, He's guarded by King, spins away from King, into the front court. King nearly steals it, and Maskey Maskey loses gets him. right around King. In the corner it goes, Richter back to Hoffman. Hoffman gets a screen from Boudreaux, yep. and a blocking foul on Payne. And Dehoff will go to the line for two. Second foul on Payne. Barshevsky topping a couple of players. First shot is good. He'll make, he'll take one more. That makes the lead 12. He's got a chance to crack double digits here. And he gets the second one. So he's got 10 points all in the second half here, does Donovan Hoffman. 13 point lead for Frontier. King now stolen. spins away in the corner. Three pointer, side of the iron, no good. Potten's with a rebound. Picks it back outside. Three pointer, no good. King the rebound. King behind the back dribble, tries to go strong. And a foul, and if that's on Boudreaux, he is done. Yeah. He went right at Colin Boudreaux. The 10th team foul on Frontier. No, they gave it to Hoffman, so it's three on Hoffman. Nice break there for Frontier. It is a break. I was sure they were going to give it to Boudreaux, but I think Hoffman got him before he got to Boudreaux. So Bryce King with two shots. First one is good. And these free throws are critical. They'll get one more. If he makes this one, it cuts the lead to 11. That one does not go. Out of bounds. No, kept in by Boudreaux. Over to Haneski. Two minutes left. Haneski is going to eat up the rest of that clock here. Head to Robinson. To Boudreaux. Boudreaux trying to find Richter on the baseline. Blocked by Pottinger. Okay, Frontier Pottinger. will keep it. Pottinger sent that one back. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Lobs it out to Hoffman. Hoffman to Haneski. Over to Robinson. Robinson for three. No. That could have been the dagger right yeah, there. Yeah, huge break there for Athol. They've got to go quick. King now with it. Inside, layup off the glass and in by Heath. Is good. Timeout, Athol. We'll, keep it. Heath. we'll take the break. 134 to go in the game. 10 point lead for Frontier. It's the Red Hawks 50. Athol 40, this is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, the Red Hawks with a 10 point lead. And we're in the last minute and a half of this one. <laughs> I think they're saying they want, wa is it Walkowitz? Is yeah, they, I think yeah. they said they want Walkie. So. Walkie. 140, 134 rather to go in this one. Frontier with a 10 point lead. Hoffman inbound it. That falls, it looks like they're going to press here. Yep, that's a smart move. Trying to get a steal. Hoffman looking for someone to throw to. Gets into Richter, over to Robinson. B. Robert to the front court. Right side to Boudreaux. Boudreaux to a breaking Richter. Oh, wow. Well, he gets Richter fouled on the way through, and that shot. is a, that's a flagrant foul. Yeah, that's dangerous. You can't push a guy when he's in midair like that. It's a flagrant foul. Who do they get, though? Now, the flagrant foul is going to be on Payne, so it's going to be two shots on the ball for Frontier on the flagrant foul. Yeah. I mean, you don't just don't want to push a game midair. I mean, he could land wrong, and that could end up very bad. Richter misses the first. I think if he just sails, nails this one, he should seal it. And he does. So he'll get double digits with 10. And six of those 10 from the foul line. <laughs> so two well, shots at the ball. Nesky to inbound and underneath the basket. You know, earlier in the season, though, we were talking about Frontier needs to improve at the free throw line. They've done it. Richter has always been pretty good from there, though. Yeah. Oh, and a steal by King. He picked Hoffman's, Hoffman's pocket. And Hoffman fouls him on the way up. Yeah. Good play by King. And you said King can go fast. You showed it there. And I told you. Quick hands, quick feet. And that's four fouls on Donovan. 
And just a minute 19 left. King's first shot hits the front of the iron, no good. Yeah, it's crushing here for Athol. Second one doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Boudreaux. Alex Aneski. Yeah, Frontier looks to soak up what's left of the clock. Richter now with it. Back to Aneski over to Hoffman. Minute left. Hoffman skip pass in the corner to Richter. Richter back over to Haneski. 14 to shoot. One minute on the game clock. Richter had it knocked loose. And it'll still be Frontier basketball, but nine seconds to go on the shot clock. 58 to go on the game clock, so this one pretty much academic. Yep. Into the backcourt, it goes to Hoffman. Hoffman brings it up. Hoffman in the corner, deflected out. Four seconds on the shot clock. You know, and even though if Frontier comes away with a double digit win, it really does not tell the story here tonight. No, it does not. It was a very tight game all the way through, but in the fourth quarter, Frontier, I think, choked out Athol with their defense. Yeah. Had a little bit left extra in the tank. Boudreau, turnaround, hook shot, good! 53-40, 13-point lead. 44 seconds left, three-pointer, does not go. Boudreau the rebound. Outlet to Robinson, Robinson pulls it back to Haneski. 26 on the shot clock, 34 on the game clock. Timeout on the floor, Frontier takes it. And they're gonna win this game. 34 seconds left, Frontier 53. Athol 40, this is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. A couple of subs are going to be coming in for Frontier. Gabe Gachinski in there. Gabe Jones-Thompson back out there with the four fouls, but with 34 seconds left, it's pretty much academic. And you got all seniors out there. Yep. Good, good job by Ben Barczewski to do that. And they're going to bring in Skywalker, too, in a, in a second here, I believe. Hoffman now with it. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. 24 on the game clock. And a whistle and a time. And they're going to bring in so Walker for, for Hoffman. For Hoffman. Nice symbolic gesture here. All Hoffman. the seniors out on the court. Jones Thompson throws it into Gachinski. Gachinski turnaround jumper. Does not go. Out of bounds. It's going to be Athol basketball with 18.6 seconds left. And they'll get one more whack at it. You know, even though Frontier comes away with a 13-point win, I really just not tell the story here tonight. Athol played their hearts out, and they gave Frontier a good run for their money in the first half. King dishes off on the baseline, and Owen Walkowitz is going to, with their, Colin Bedrill is going to call for the foul, and I think that's it for him. Yeah. <laughs> Boudreaux is out. So the Southern DJ Grishkovic. Standing ovation for, for the Frontier fans. Big DJ is in now. First shot is good by Heath. He'll get one more. And that one goes after he gets the bounce. Into Robinson and Frontier can Dribble it out up ahead to Gabe Jones Thompson. 10 seconds left over Let's to Walkowitz. Yep. Skywalker is going to hang on to it, and that is going to be your ball game. The final score from Good No Gymnasium Frontier Redhawks 53, Athol Red Raiders 42. We'll take a quick break and we'll wrap it up on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by. Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, 
great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins and Zach Lino back out here at Kudno Gymnasium. The Frontier Red Hawks defeat the Alpha Red Raiders by a count of 53 to 42. Though Frontier won this game by 11, the final score does not belay what happened on this floor tonight. Alpha came to play and gave the Hawks everything they could. Yeah, that first half they even led by five, but you started to see around that third quarter, Frontier ended with a lead, and then ever since then it was just kind of Frontier momentum. Four Frontier Redhawks ended up in double digits scoring wise. The most impressive of the four, I think, was Gabe Jones Thompson, especially in the first part of that second half. Scored three consecutive post buckets. Finished with 10 points, 13 for Brett Robinson with three threes, 10 points for Donovan Hoffman, and Sean Rick with 10 points, including six foul shots in the second half. Also, Colin Boudreau had eight points and two points, Rowan Walkowitz. So Frontier, with that win, goes to 14 and three on the season. Athol slips to seven and 11, and they are still in the bubble in terms of finding their way into the postseason tournament. And this is a big win for Frontier and a big, I think, emotional uplift going into a critical game, a critical rematch with Greenfield. Frontier beat Greenfield in this building earlier on in the season. And they're going to go into Greenfield on Thursday night, and they would like nothing better than the sweet Greenfield of the season series. Green Wave might have other ideas. Though. Yeah, I mean, with the Frontier, with they're coming in with a 14 and three record, very good. They'll kind of solidify their number one position in the division. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see them go deep in the playoffs. Final score for the final time: the Frontier Redhawks defeat the Alpha Red Raiders 53 to 42. For my broadcast partner Zach Lino, for Alec Echo, for Josh. For Megan Self and the executive producer of Frontier Regional High School Sports, Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins saying so long from Good No Gymnasium on Frontier Community Access Television.